Hey everyone, it's Danielle Tiara. Thanks for tuning in to Statue of Society. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for instant updates on your favorite celebrity news. Also, be sure to click that notification bell as well so you get notified when an upload has been posted. Back in 2018, Megan Thee Stallion signed with 1501, which is owned by Carl Crawford. Unfortunately, in 2020, things went left. Now, Megan and Carl are both from Texas, and their beef went further south than their Lone Star State. Just recently, TMZ reported that 1501 was suing Megan Thee Stallion, and Carl Crawford took that article and posted on his Instagram to further discuss. He stated, stop playing the victim Megan Thee Stallion. You haven't paid for one show since 2019. Hiding behind Rock Nation, you can keep that BS mixtape and send over that straight drop whenever you're ready. So Carl is referring to Megan Thee Stallion's mixtape that she dropped in October called Something for the Hotties. Now, unfortunately, they are coming for Megan's neck because they claim that this does not count for an album and that she owes them an official album. Megan the Stallion was not feeling Carl's public statements and she decided to give her side of this very messy business deal. In a Twitter rant, she started off, first the man over my label said I don't make him any money. Now he countersuing trying to keep me on his label because he wants me to make more money? LOL, if I ain't making you no money, why not just drop me? My lawyers asked him for an expense report, money 1501 supposedly has spent on me. Why this grown man put his jewelry and chains on there? Lord, free me from this joke label. I choose not to say anything back about court and address things online, but I'm getting tired of being painted the bad guy. 247, the last girl on 1501 mad at this man too. A Twitter user tweeted out, at this point, Megan the Stallion is going to have to show us the wound or something. This led Megan to respond with, girls like this have actual come for brains. D-eating girls. My hospital records are public records. The DA has made a statement. Y'all choosing to be dumb at this point. You better hope a man never does this to you and nobody, especially women, believe you. Carl, I don't want to be signed to your pill popping self. You talking about I ain't paid for a show and you sound slow. I'm the artist. I don't pay you directly. Maybe fight with the man you signed to and you might see some money. You powder head. You hiding behind J Prince. Carl, you got a whole contact with 300 and talking mess to me like I got your money. You are doing this to me. Why? Because you want to be famous, not rich? Ask Kevin Lyles where your money at, stupid. Also, how can I owe you any of my money outside of music when your team can't even provide actual statements of what I owe? You also haven't paid me since 2019. Your team signed off on something for the hotties to count as an album. Now it's not jokes. Greedy old man, let me go, lol. People love bringing up Rock Nation like, hell yeah, my team is great and I'm supposed to have a bad one. And what about it? Bye, I'm not speaking to nobody else on here. See y'all in court. So Megan and Zion's Twitter rant got back to Carl Crawford, but what stood out to him was the fact that she called him a powderhead. That did not sit well with him and he decided to respond. He stated on his Instagram story, hey, y'all believe that BS, all y'all want to. I don't got Twitter fingers, so I'm not about to type all that all day. But I promise everything said about me about that matter is a lie. The truth will be out soon enough. This coming from a bona fide alcoholic who slept with the whole industry, including her best friend's man. Defamation claim on the way. So as Carl previously stated, he is not with the Twitter fingers. He's not with typing and reading all of that, that making the sign tweeted out. So he decided to verbally further discuss on his Instagram live. Everybody, I've been seeing all these vlogs talking about Powder head and all this shit. I ain't never snorted a line of cocaine or damn my whole life. Period. You know so, homegirl put that shit out there. You know what I'm saying? She gonna powder head my ass. Nigga. You got me fucked up. I think I want to get on here and say nothing back about that. Cause I really just kind of saw that line. Cause I don't really be reading all that shit. But I saw a powder head. She said something about me and Lil' Jay. So, I'm just 
just letting y'all know I ain't never stopped. So Carl Crawford did not stop there. He did an additional Instagram live to further defend his character against Megan Thee Stallion's allegations. I just read my open book. I've been one for a long time now. And I don't mind opening up some other motherfucking books though. <laughs> I tell you that. I went to the media. When? First? No, I didn't. TMZ was going to the media. Z posted shit. <clears throat> I just repost what I saw already out there. Hey, Megan, you better come tell your fans about this coke shit before I get to really telling them who the coke here around this motherfucker is. <laughs> shit. I'm telling you, man, your little fans don't want to fuck with me, dog. I don't got nothing but atomic bombs in my system over here. And it wouldn't be nothing for me to say that shit. You know, when I have, when I, when I say my shit, I got evidence, proof, I'm a shit. I'm a goddamn, I'm a present all receipts. You know that little jury situation, all that shit? Yo, all that. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, you know, motherfucker talking about I made her pay for my jury. I ain't make her pay for my jury, I made her pay for her jury. Shit. And we got the receipts to show. To show you all the statements I sent over, everything. Like niggas always trying to make do some do some extra shit. Sure. I let it go when the millions of dollars get back into my account that I spent that I invested. You mean to tell me if somebody owed you millions of dollars, you gonna just let it go? Y'all different for me. I know y'all don't want to see y'all. You know. Y'all let's start go through this in the media. And I don't either. Shit. <clears throat> I don't want to go through this shit either. But they just trying to hold a nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I'm over here. I ain't paying you shit. All right. Well, here we go. I don't know what I did to them people. But I pissed them off. So, they can really end this shit like tomorrow. But they just want to just wanna handle a nigga. So now it's time to chime in and share your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future news.